Welcome back to Tacoma. We've just come from the personnel section of the ship to biomedical. So botany or medical, let's go to botany. Oh, is this some sort of like purification kind of thing? So green. I love it. Captured three days ago. Oh, right. There was an issue with the oxygen, right? They weren't producing any more oxygen? I... It just said I tried down there. I tried. Alright, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. Alright. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success, then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Great. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll head downstairs and get started on Oh my something. god. Okay. So now we actually have to build Hey, this. Andrew. Clive. Andrew. Okay, there's three <laughs> three separate conversations going on. Um let's follow Andrew. Good on. Oh my something. god. Okay. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Hey, are are you okay? Evie. Hey. Nope, Evie. I'm not. Okay. Oh. Crap. All right, that's not going anywhere. Hey. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll no, I didn't expect them to either. Oh my god. Okay. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? So what are they gonna build? Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um, I know you're all like gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72... Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. Ride of your life. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshop! Oh. That's the end of that. Alright, let's stay with Evie this time. Okay. So now we actually have to build hey, this thing. Andrew. Clive. Andrew. Wanna talk? Sure, Evie. Are, are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um... Exactly. I didn't think things would end like this, did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could- VT's not fucking coming, Clive! VT's not fucking coming. 
You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clyde. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. Isn't capitalism great? So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie. I don't want to be realistic with you. Well, time to go make final preparations then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together. Like this. But the gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've... We've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Aww. Oh, Evie. Uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Oh, they're talking about going into um, the cryogenics section. I think I saw... Is, isn't that a place in the ship? Does it show up here? Well, it isn't explicitly mentioned here, but I know I saw that in the main hub. Hmm. So it sounds like the plan was for all non-essential personnel to go into cryogenics to save on oxygen. Leaving just Nat and Bert to work on the engineering of getting the escape vessel up and going. To give them the most time. Hello? Guess I'll catch up with y'all later then. Andrew's really not okay. Um, let's see, are there any other threads I can follow without the password to down there? So Bert and Nat, I followed them all the way out to the exit. I can't go any further. I followed Clive and Evie, so... No. Okay, let's take a look at the data. Do I oh. Alright, what are you looking at, Evie? From Evie St. James Urgent, all hands meeting right now. See subject, I'm in Botany already, get here. Saray. Standard practice is don't use cryo for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked. Right, sorry, um, 72 hours without serious risk of brain damage? Uh, past that and you're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? Yep, that was the plan. Nat? Uh-huh. But Bert says she could do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep and something something. And I need to write up a serious layer of interpreter code for us to pilot it from the inside, but it's going to be tight. And if you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay. Okay, hold on. Checking something. With Bert, uh, what if we weren't sending it down... What if we weren't sending it down to get supplies? What if we were sending ourselves down? In the delivery drone? Yes, with some modifications. The bigger issue would be its lack of life support. Something something salvage from around Tacoma, we could rig up oxygen, pressure, climate... Something something drone down to Luna and get home from there. If we're not confident in VT making it up here before O2 runs out and we can't call for a pickup, getting down to Luna is our only real hope. Okay, sit tight. Good idea. Thanks, Bert. 
So I wonder why they chose to go to the moon rather than Earth. Is it closer? Saray. Oh, at this time they're down there, right? Oh no, they come up? Where... Where'd they go? Oh. Okay, so this I haven't seen yet. So just coming out from talking with Andrew. Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt pillows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your feet parted with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so The dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, Evie. Uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? <laughs> ah, so they were looking at this to, to help them visualize it. Okay, so I can't get Andrews. No, it's disabled by the time they come out. Okay, so I need the password for that. Okay, let's take it from the top. So there's the exit. Personal quarters. Um, let's check out food supply. Botanist office. Angry. Eat some tomatoes, fry them up in a dustpan, and you'll be happy. How do these work? Is that like manufacturing chicken meat? Fish? Beef? Oh, they make disgusting noises. Nice mushroom tower. Plotting soil. All purpose. For use in all vegetation growth and maintenance on Venturus property and operations. Practical indoor practical indoor gardening. Janice Greenbrier. Greenbrier, that's a familiar name from Gone Home. Definitive handbook for the indoor gardener since its first printing in 2008. Practical indoor gardening lays out the basic principles of successful indoor gardening, whether greenhouse or hydroponic, in a concise, easy-to-follow style. 
The beginner and the expert alike will find guidance and tips that will edify, charm, and inform. This collection of extensive botanical knowledge is here for the taking. It's interesting. So you can turn on the text showing thing when you're like looking at something like this and it turns it on for stuff like even the potting soil back there. But you can't turn it on and off right now. Only when you're like looking at something like this. Botanist office. So there's no AR memory in here. It's a different zone. No, nothing. Noodles and pencils. Eh. Professional art supplies. Set of seven artists drawing pencils. It's so cool that it opens up. Boop. Boop. Ah, Andrew is a kid. Phalaenopsis Aphrodite. Policy change request form. Specific request with reasoning. I hereby request the following exception to Ventura's corporate policy. Um, policy blah blah blah. I request an official corporate day of mourning to be instituted on September 15th of each year, memorializing the Tibetan Genocide of 2052. Reason for my request is, my family and thousands of others were indelibly sundered? Indelibly sundered in this horrific ethnic cleansing attempt. My parents and I escaped Tibet as refugees. My grandmother, like so many others, was not so lucky. Her memory spurs me to make this request once more. Days of memorial like this one are crucial to ensuring that the memory of the people and traditions lost in this terrible event. Nope. There we go. There's a freaking Amazon University. Oh, I hate it. And if you're a Prime member, you get faster education. Andrew really liked these... these, uh, noodle cups. Ah, zero two A one. Yeah, it seems like any sort of puzzles this game have this game has. Well, but not even really puzzles. It doesn't even really try to make it hard. You just gotta look around a bit, and it seems like you just find the passwords, which is perfectly fine. I, I think it probably fits the flow a little bit better, not to be stopped up trying to solve a puzzle. Beautiful stones. That looks like the moon. And that one's missing. Agricultural logistics certification, okay.
Congratulations, Venturis Belt property owner. Dear contractor in good standing, this message confirms completion of your requested currency conversion. Loyalty has been removed from your account at a value of... That much. And apply to your Venturis Belt employee investment plan pre-registration fee. You are now the proud owner of Orbital Bungalow number 0182 in the Venturis Belt. When facilities become operational later in 2088, you will make money every time a passenger rents out your orbital bungalow. Congratulations on this wise investment and welcome to the Venturis family. <laughs> converting loyalty or currencies, converting your loyalty points into currency. To all station crew, beautiful orchids. Hi everyone. My orchids have been growing gloriously in botany this winter, and they're ready to be propagated. If anyone would like a small orchid plant to brighten up their bunk, let me know. They do take a bit of care, but I'm happy to include instructions and answer any questions. Please write back if you'd like one. So, 0281. Crazy. But you said you. I know. I, okay, I know what I was I supposed to say? You all. You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury rigged thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well, some of us do. Andrew, I. I don't know what to say. Barton and Nat need us. They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm going to be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, You'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just... Give me a little time. Hey, Odin? Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I... I just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this... Can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course.
from Mark Figueroa regarding just checking in about your renewal. Andrew, I'm not talking about who's paying the bills. I'm talking about Nicholas something something. See you every four months, and that's not even taking my feelings into account, which I'll just set aside for now. You might not think he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you back out of your contract renewal, we'll figure out a way to make it work. You know my parents did well in the currency crash. My dad always says, there's something, something, I just want you home. Relying on your parents' charity is your solution? I'm building equity up here. My loyalty will pay for Nicholas's school, and if I back out of this contract, we'll lose all that. And I am not. Something, something, don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know. Really getting hard not to feel unappreciated. Listen, I'm sorry, I just... Message unsent, connection lost, attempting to resend. Oh, the God. That's gotta be a terrible feeling. The apology never got sent. Oh, man. Andrew, I hate to tell you, but you really should just rely on... on Mark's parents' charity. Evie St. James. So I guess we should just carry on as normal? We don't have much time. We need to make a contingency plan. But Viti's supposed to come pick us up, right? Within 24 hours. Listen, just something something. Increase our oxygen supply in the short term if worse came to worst. Message with Nat. There's really no way of getting a signal out. There must be something you haven't tried yet. No, Andrew, all comms are routed through a secure VT laser array and it's been destroyed and the redundancies were destroyed. Stop messaging me. Well, looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Alright, let's check out this place down here. Does this place have a name? Stone shaping fundamentals for meditation, for health. Huh. Make this effective modern meditative practice part of your life. Classes available for ages 5 and up. For classes and instructions, please contact some place in New York. Ah. That must be. I guess the next one that Andrew's working on for that other display. What if I... What if I go put that back on the display? 20 flameless disposable cigarettes do not light. Keep away from flame. Flameless? Huh. So is it like some sort of healthy cigarette or... Auto-vaporizing cigarettes? Are they vape sticks? So, Andrew's little <laughs> secret smoking spot. I'm gonna go put this up there. Ah, it's even got a put back, so that's definitely where it's supposed to go. Nice. That feels good. Alright, let's look more down here. Oh, I think that's about it. So, oxygen supply. 
So these recordings of the incident starting were from three days ago, so that's right where the oxygen supply started to tank. And when it gets down here, that's when you get sad, aka dead. Huh. It really didn't seem to last long, did it? I'm a little bit confused, because it sounded like the air supply was going to last for two or, th or even maybe three days with everybody in a cryo or something like that, but it's looking like it bottomed out. It bottomed out after not even half a day. Like right there. Maybe this is just the... I guess it's just the extra supply of oxygen, right? Like not the oxygen that's actually on board the ship, but just the supply that could be piped in. Because that is all gone. It, the only oxygen left was what was left inside of the ship, right? Okay, what else? So, food supply and all that, we've been in there. Been down there. Um, personal quarters. Or tea garden. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, it'd be lovely just to sit here. Jazz. <laughs> I'm guessing that's Clive's. Yeah, give me that overlay. Jazz. Oh. So drawing from Andrew, maybe that jazz cup isn't uh, Clive's. Or maybe they just sat here together. Who knows? Nice little oasis. Oh, that down there's irrigation. So that leaves personal personal quarters. Six months ago. Okay, Odin. Ready? I'm gonna do it this time. If they won. <laughs> it's an AR blaster game. Pew pew. Alright, what are you looking at, Andrew? Spitfire's Revenge. Oh, it looks like they were. Oh, I guess they were playing at the same time as, uh, as Sarah was playing. From ONN, the Orbital News Network. Ventura stock tumbles following failure of Orbital Workers Safety Bill. Bill would have repealed the Human Oversight Accord, opening the door to ambitious Venturus Belt project. Well, hold on a second. So, Bill would have repealed the Human Oversight Accord, opening the door to ambitious Venturus Belt project. So, it failed at the time, but we know that 
the Venture Spell project is definitely happening. So did they finally manage to get rid of it and to repeal it at some point later? I mean, this was, after all, what, eight, eight months ago? Six months ago. Space travel and hospitality corporations like Venturas are seeing their profits shrink as something something entered the Venturas belt, a flock of 1,000 automated economy orbital bungalows arrayed around Earth. Full automation of orb orbital facilities is currently outlawed by the Human Oversight Accord, which requires Venturas over 15 billion SGD into the development, manufacturing, and deployment of the bungalows themselves, and also into extensive lobbying, largely through sympathetic council member Douglas Chun for a repeal of Councilmember Chun stepped down from his seat three months ago, leaving OCEP delegates voted against I'm guessing repealing it 418 to 132 that's a wide margin, leaving the Human Oversight Accord in place Ventura's stock dropped to an all-time low following the OCEP vote and continuing public outrage from those who have prepaid for Ventura's Belt timeshare memberships this has led to speculation that Sergio Venturi's position as CEO may be something something of directors could not be reached for comment. Ah, oh, so that's Andrew, uh, what was it, Marco and Nicholas? with Nicholas. Uh, yes, I opened it, and I'm not sure I get it. You need to pass them out to the rest of the crew so they're not blinded by the glare of your off your damn shiny scalp. Nicholas? <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. Oh. I didn't even see you in the corner. I didn't see you there at all. You just creeping in the corner, Sarah? Okay, Odin. Ready? I'm gonna does this, do it this time. Does Andrew's score go up? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Oh, I thought they were playing at the same time, like across the station, but I guess they were taking turns. Squash. <laughs> That's the birthday present from Nicholas. Cool shades. Playing cards. Hi, Andrew. Sorry you couldn't be here for the dedication ceremony, but it was really lovely. Even Nicholas seemed moved. We found your grandmother's entry. Here's a photo. We'll visit together when you're home. Love you, Mark. Homework is more important than fun. Dad. <laughs> Love Nicholas. Have a good year in space. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I thought opening that would add more light, but not really. Well, I guess now it is. Just depends on the angle. Once again, stare up and... Ugh. Delicious. The Democratic Eastern Coalition's finest performing arts training campus, rated number one in corporate performing arts placement and benefits for the eighth year in a row, Amazon University Buffalo. Dear Mr. Dog Doggy Hub, I'm sorry, and Mr. Figueroa, thank you for allowing us to show you and your talented son Nicholas around our cutting edge campus. As the DEC's leading performing and augmented arts educational institution, AU Buffalo is proud to be the number one destination for talented students like Nicholas, whose ambitions drive them to forge a meaningful career in the arts. 
You expressed interest in discovering more about financial options to enable your son's education. We are happy to accept loyalty from internationally recognized corporate institutions, including the Venturis family of corporate entities at competitive rates. And if Nicholas is able to secure a position with Amazon original content following graduation, we offer tuition forgiveness programs that could result in a college education for Nicholas at effectively no cost to you. Please contact us with any further inquiries as you may have. <laughs> Papa Bear. <laughs> Oh, that's the uh, the figure that was in the the D room. Raising a happy, ethical, respectful, optimistic, hardworking child. Nero Wolf's orchids, Beauty and the Devil, Tibetan people, a history. History of the Tibetan Genocide, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, The Story of Coffee, Infinite Jest, Hamlet, Maplethorpe, Enviable Nobility, Oh my god, tiny, tiny cacti. They're so small. Gardens of Versailles. Versailles? Versailles. The gardens at Versailles capture the magic of the breathtaking... whatever that is, um, in the most comprehensive photographic survey to date. Alongside these luminous depictions are shown an extensive history of the gardens, their plans, and the timeline... timelines upon which they were developed. This is truly a biography of this beautiful World Heritage Site. The garden's long history is thoroughly collected here for your enjoyment and education. What are you hiding in here? Oh, Andrew. You've been having hypoallergenic protein energy plus, have you? Yeah, just like everything, it's got like a really good amount of everything. Some good vitamins, fiber. Whey powder, strawberries, straw, strawberry extract, plant proteins, flavors, salt. Wait, what's this one? Oh, juice blend. Ah. Oh god. What the hell? Why do you do? That does not go back right. <laughs> it's horrible. How about... there. Good enough. Cigarettes? More protein, some weights. Lotion. Tissues. Nothing exciting. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, wait. Didn't go in here. Fourth book in Nina Lyre's best selling worship series. Fayam places heroin. I'm going to mispronounce everything. Yeah, it, it's a book. Alright, I think that's everything for this section, right? Tea garden, food supply, downstairs, a irrigation place, personnel, yeah.
Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. Yeah, we're about halfway through. Seems about right. And when I return, we're going to explore medical.